Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to look at the worm chow only bin. So this bin has been getting regular bedding, but instead of having uh, any sort of kitchen scraps, it has only been getting my prepared worm chow, which is a third ground oatmeal, regular wheat flour, and cornmeal with a handful of grit as well. So you can see where that lid was, they have come up here and made everything castings. So that looks great. So what I think, I don't know, I think, I think it's time to start, you know, moving towards completion with this bin. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start putting all of the worms and the current castings at one end. And then we're going to put some of the bedding over on the other end. So by the time they're done over here, they will have had an opportunity to move out. But the worms, you know, part of this project was to see if I could get the blue worms and the other worms to get a little bit bigger. Um, they, they actually seem about the same, quite honestly. I haven't been feeding them intensively. They get probably a cup of food a week. Um, and there's probably a pound, pound and a half of worms in here of the, the red wigglers, the blue worms, and the European night crawlers. Of course, this time of year where it's, you know, like 60 degrees in the basement and, you know, 40% humidity, the worms do slow down. I see that they do anyway. And the blue worms, if they're a very large percentage, then they're probably slowing down quite a bit. But I'm going to move these guys over and then we can get them a more bedding and just kind of like start moving them over. So I'll take this part here that is not done, just basically dry bedding, and we'll put that on one side and we'll put the almost finished stuff over on this side. Now that's going to be pretty full, I'm going to have to be careful, um, but if you guys have been here very long you know that I am forever making a big mess. So pile that up there and let's get them some more bedding. Getting kind of low on bedding here, so that's going to have to, they're just going to have a very small migration area and the in progress part's going to have to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to give the area over here where I just put the um, new bedding, I'm going to give them the feeding over here. Now I don't know how good the migration is going to work. I've never tried to do a migration with the worm chow only bin before. So we'll see if this uh, is enticing enough for them to move over or if this is going to take longer. I don't know. Put your comments below. What do you think? Is this migration going to work with just the worm chow only? Or am I going to have to do something else? Uh, those of you who do worm chow only, um, put the comments below. What's your experience been? Okay, so for these guys, I'm not going to give them any more moisture, and I'm not going to give them any more food. There is some bedding still in here, so I imagine this is going to take a while but we've completely turned the bin over so that any dry or any wet pockets or anything are going to have an opportunity to dry out which might also be good for getting the worms to move out of the area all right well just a quick update on the worm chow only bin if you like this experiment uh, or any of my experiments, I do have a playlist for my experimental worm bins that I can link at the end. If you want to see what happened with this bin the last time, I can also put a link to this one. Uh, if you like this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.